हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्टैटिक डेटा एंड मेंबर फंक्शंस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट डाउन माय इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक स्टैटिक डेटा मेंबर्स सो अ क्लास कैन कंटेन स्टैटिक मेंबर्स इधर डेटा और फंक्शंस सो इन दिस सेक्शन फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्टैटिक डेटा एंड देन स्टैटिक फंक्शंस सो स्टैटिक डेटा मेंबर्स ऑफ अ क्लास आर ऑल्सो नोन एज क्लास वेरिएबल्स because there is only one unique value for all the objects of that same class uh, their content is not different from one ob object of this class to another no matter how many objects of a class are created only one copy of a static data member exist means all the objects shares that particular uh, copy of static data all static var uh, variables are initialized to zero when the first object of its class is created it is visible only within the class means it, its scope is limited to the class but its lifetime is the entire program so after discussion now uh, coming on to the syntax of static data so for this purpose you have to use a keyword static then data type and then variable name you can also initialize uh, a particular value uh, to the static uh, variable by following this syntax data type class name scope resolution then variable name and equals to then initial value so you can understand the concept of static variable with the help of this example in this class counter a static variable count is declared it is increased by one in count object function and the value of count is displayed in get count function after completion of class count variable is initialized with zero this is main function inside main function three objects are created c1 c2 and c3 and all these objects are calling count object and get count function so uh, first uh, c1 will call count object then c2 will call count object and c3 will call count object so you have to remember that a single copy for count variable will be created its initial value will be zero when c1 dot count object uh, will be called this function will change value of count uh, from 0 to 1 then get count will print the value of uh, count uh, that is 1 then c2 will call count object so c2 object will again use same count uh, variable and its value will become 2 then c2 dot get count will print the value 2 on console then c3 will call count object function it will again increase the value of count variable from 2 to 3 so c3 dot get count will print 3 on console so friends you have noticed that a single copy of count variable is created because it is static variable and all c1 c2 and c3 objects shared that uh, static variable for processing now after uh, understanding of static data we can understand the concept of static member functions so as static data member function may also be declared static a static member function can only access static members declared in the same class so remember that static function can only access static members either data or function a static member function cannot access non static data or functions a static member function can be accessed using the name of its class without creation of any object so uh, if you want to access or you want to call any static member member function with the name of its class it is possible and for this purpose you don't have to create any object we can declare a member function as static by preceding static keyword before any member function so after discussion uh, sorry after discussion uh, about uh, this concept we can understand this example this example contains both static variable which is count and static function which is get count so this get count function can only process static variable but this count object function can access or process stat static as well as non static variable so this program is similar to the previous program or previous example but 
you have to notice that in this example get count function is called with the name of class using scope resolution operator and it can also be called using name of the object so static function uh, can be uh, called or accessed through uh, name of class or through object and static uh, function can only access static variables or static function so this is all about static data and static function uh, you can uh, practice this program uh, on your compiler so that you can uh, judge the output whether it is correct or incorrect so whenever you are going to execute these program uh, implement the program using static keyword with count or removing static keyword with count and uh, check the or check or compare the output of both the programs in case of static you will be uh, uh, getting output 1 2 and 3 but if you remove static from a count variable you will be getting output 1 1 or 1 so implement these program thank you for watching this video